Not Your Professional Walkthroughs Channel presents... Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the 50th episode of Graveyard Keeper here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs Channel with me, your host Max. Well, in case you are wondering why am I walking through here, well, Mada, I kinda Mada. wanted to show you what happens if we load in 10 pieces of wheat to the miller. So obviously we get the flour immediately. Now in case I would want to get more, I can do like purchase the wheat from him, but it's kind of idiotic to do that, so I'm just gonna get the hop seeds. I'm going to go to the farmer. I'm gonna go get some silver seeds so that the zombies can keep producing the produce. Uh, here the bone store quality pumpkin you can see is actually I have been clearing out the inventory back at the farm by eating the produce which I cannot sell otherwise I don't use it and making soups and all sorts of other stuff in my kitchen is nice but it takes too long and the production cannot be scaled so yeah anyhow if we come to the tavern here we find out that Wagner has had some bad trip from consuming the alcohol which was supposed to inspire him so that's really bad so I'm gonna have to meet him by the fort but before I do that I want to actually show you one fun thing so in the prep for the episode I have planted some more of the apple trees and berry bushes because I have actually found out that you can turn the juice into the apple cider and the apple cider and the berry juice can be then turned into the booze and fun thing here uh damn it i don't have the sales report with a booze here i'm gonna probably have to make one but anyhow i will show you that actually selling one of them will earn you one silver and 50 yeah this one one silver and 50 coppers this is actually one of the better selling items and if you are wondering how in the world was I able to restock the shelf so much well I was cheating and helping out the zombies because their productivity is obviously killing me so yeah I'm, I'm gonna probably go meditate on what in the world is Wagner up to and hopefully I won't have to wait god knows how long in order to actually be able to then interact with Miss Shorm and get some more stuff done. So yeah, fun stuff, fun stuff. Okay, well I did not want to meditate for too long. Obviously midnight should be somewhere around now, so oh, oh, oh. I really wonder if I will manage to find Wagner by the entrance to the fort so let's head upwards we will hopefully find him I really hate to have the same fiasco as with the this guy yeah I mean obviously he can sell me some really cool stuff but where is Wagner, let's take a look, uh, where are you buddy, come on, meet me at night at sea cliffs near, okay, so sea cliffs are to the east, so let's head that way, we will be somewhere here, hopefully still, I would hate for him to disappear on me. Rubber, 
parah sih What is going on? some really bad acid trip huh anyhow well now we have a completely different situation we're gonna have to wait a whole in-game week in order to be able to interact with Miss Charm yet again but it's actually coming across snakes day and in case you watched one of the previous episodes uh, Snake told us to organize red races. Now, I have actually gone to the tavern. And I have zero idea where in the world... Can I actually freaking build this damn thing? Oh, okay, so actually it can be done here. Red race table, so we need 4 advanced colonical flasks, 36 and 18. Okay, let's get that done. 4, 36, 18. I'll talk to you once I'm back here. Hopefully I have some of those advanced flasks at the church cellar or something. Okay, well I was able to acquire all the required ingredients. So let's see where I can build that damn rat race table. Huh, fun stuff. So it's actually now here. And therefore I should be able to have the red races. Not sure if there is something special required for that. Okay, five fate points and... 10 flyers, so let's go get that and see what will be the overall earnings from this event. I would definitely love to have that achieved before we have interaction with Snake, because if I manage to do so, I should be able to make him steal the Lighthouse Keeper's medallion, and by doing so, I should be able then to cover the next two visions from the Stranger Since DLC. So, yippee! Uh, we need 5 faint points and 10 flyers. I almost forgot. Okay. Okay, let's see what the red races are like. Sorry for the choppy audio. And that is actually an achievement. Rat race. So, event income, total money, 25, okay. Not the best, but uh, it's okay. Now, I will probably have to save up enough reputation points for another Miss Charm's performance since I have the perfect song for her. At least I hope I still have it. And hopefully, therefore, when I will have more reputation points, we will be able to get better performance out of her so far wow like no bueno okay so we will be able to interact with snake now the question is if i should actually head into the dungeons and try to clear out more of that one level where we were stuck or potentially just go and hang out with our buddy here who is already headed over there okay no collision here between them. Nice. So let's wait for him to make his way. Interact with him. Ask him to steal the damn amulet. 
and therefore we will have more fun stuff to cover. He's busy. Man, you are walking way too slowly. What would happen if the Inquisitor would not be your dad and you would have to run away from his guards? So we have organized the red races. Episode 50 might actually turn out to be kind of amusing. I will be able to showcase at least one of the damn visions, so... How about I go and do that? We haven't had a vision in quite a while. Especially considering all the damn grinding I had to do in order to build those two damn blood fountains. Man, that took so much time to get done. So we have both the shackles and the amulets. I'm gonna actually prop up this over here just so that I have it here. And I should be able to showcase you with another vision.
Bueno. Wow, so it looks like Diggus was the one who broke the Necronomicon. The things we learn when we get finally more visions. Chiction Potion. Okay, that can be useful, especially against the golems. But, uh, yeah. Let's head into the dungeons. I'm gonna try to clear out at least one of the levels. I'm gonna take the wine because it's a great HP potion and energy potion too. You see it actually restores 30 HP so yeah I think we are fully stocked anyhow so it will not be missed that much. I'm gonna try to clear out that one level and I'm gonna keep the vision for the shackles for the next episode so that there is something fun happening over there as well. So I'll talk to you once we get into the dungeon. Okay, let's kick some butt. I have no idea which sections I have cleared out by now, so I might have to look around just to be sure. These are getting larger and larger, and these rooms tend to go all over the damn place, so I'm never quite sure if I have actually managed to clear out everything. I think we managed to go down here. So that's fine. I'm not sure if I managed to clear out this larger arena to the right over here, so let's go take a look. Okay, so far so good. We have cleaned out pretty much a large section of the world here. Okay, I'm finally coming across the enemies, which I didn't manage to do yet. We have a really healthy mix of all sorts of enemies here. Okay, usually it's funny that this damn thing is able to clear out the urns which contain some of these items. Let's pop one of the wine in order to gain more HP. Back, I have kind of burned through a whole lot of honey in my inventory, so I'll definitely have to go and check on my beehives. Let's let everything try to approach me, preferably from one side. The only disadvantage this thing has is that I can come at it from angle at certain points. By doing so, it has really, really small chance to hit me. I believe we are at the last level. Whoa, that's a lot of freaking fire bats. Okay, you should not be swinging your swords too crazy here. Okay, so these have been cleared out. Let's see what these. Got some more silver here, that's nice. I think I'm actually still smelting the silver from the previous raids. It was quite a lot of silver which I came across. I could have potentially saved some of the gold which we came across as well uh, in order 
order to make it into the gold potion and then the golden injections but I'm not that sure I will be making that many more zombies right now so I'll see and plus there is still always the chance of me to come across more gold if I'll go and try to do my own mining okay so here we have I believe the final form of the elemental golem this one should be dropping gold potentially so yep and even health extract wow okay call me impressed okay so once again lots of fire bats there's still one more we have another one of these massive golems here go too far over there in order to avoid getting hit by the golem he keeps attacking whoa did you see that he make like a circle if i would get caught in that 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 can be some serious damage dealing ability let's see if we will come across more of them so that we can investigate what will happen and if i will actually survive the engagement did manage to come across some health potion that can be always useful Though, uh, there we have those funny looking lightning balls which explode on impact so i'm gonna have to be careful here not to get whoa kind of game kind of froze on me and well that was awkward Okay, I probably could have gone for the wine instead of the potion, but I really want to see if I can... Okay, so the fun thing is that only after I came in contact with the golem, I was actually able to make him break the urns which contain the items. That's so cool. Why wasn't he able to destroy them before? You see, there is still one more urn. So let's see if I can actually make him to break it down. Like, aggro him into destroying the urn. I mean, obviously, he's using the attacks all willy nilly. It still did not. Break the damn urn. Maybe I need to. Okay, let's get rid of you. You are all kind of annoying. And I was able to aggro this one into destroying the last remaining one, despite actually his attacks coming in contact with it. So I'm still kind of confused here when it comes to this. What in the world did I do with the shovel? Yeah, I almost kind of freaked out there. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the black jelly. Toxic powder. Yeah, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Let's see what else is in here. Still have a bunch of stuff to clear out. Okay, so we are talking about fire bats. Some iron here. I'm sure the flies won't mind me just minding my own business. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was a horrible dad joke. Anyhow, let's clear out the flies. And let's see what else is in here. I still did not manage to come across the exit or the end of the dungeon level. So, this might take a while, but it's not like I'm in a rush. At least the time will be moving closer to the day when Miss Charm will show up back at the Death Horse Inn, and by doing so, I will be able to give her the song, and also by waiting here, I should acquire enough reputation points back at my tavern 
so that she will be able to perform because her performance requires three stars of reputation. So I'm really hoping that by doing that performance she will be actually able to step up her overall performance. And here it is. Here we would come across that infamous golden apple which we know now that actually Dick ate two of them. I don't know if he went crazy from all the knowledge acquired from them thanks to that. But overall, that's it. That's all the dungeon levels. Now, unfortunately, there is no way for me to... Now, unfortunately, there is no way for me to go back there and grind through those levels in order to acquire more of these powders and resources, but overall, I have to say, it can be kind of useful, all things considered. You see, if you try to do these things not as I do, and by that I mean not to jump like late years ahead with one NPC while waiting to find out how in the world you're supposed to deal with the other one or something. Uh, if you create a proper balance, you might come across some useful features. For example, imagine that you are able to come across the gold in the dungeons, so that you can be actually grinding it into the powder, and then, if I put the gold over here, I get the golden powder, and by acquiring the golden powder, I can actually turn out the gold elixir. So once I make the gold elixir, I can then work on acquiring golden injection, and therefore, I will have resources for more zombies. But like I said, I'm not sure if I will be going for more zombies. You see, I really don't want them to be making stuff like uh, down here the science -y things or alchemy or something because I'm already like fighting for storage so it would be kind of idiotic for me to have someone just keep pushing out for example flyers or something when I need them only on special occasions but yeah anyhow that will be it for today's episode in case you enjoyed what you saw here please consider subscribing I publish episodes like five days a week so you will have always something fun to watch in case you consider it. I am still a small channel so I actually respond to the comment section so in case you have any points, tips, anything, please let me know. I will be more than happy to go through it and yeah that's probably it. Uh, check out the channel for more fun content, obviously I will try to cover the visions more here and hopefully we'll be able to cover more of them eventually since I was able to cover the medallion. We have now the shackles waiting for the next episode, also I will try to interact more with Miss Charm, give her that perfect song and so on and so on, so we will see how that overall goes, we will see if we can actually save Wagner or if she will even know who Wagner is, and yeah, that, that's probably it. See you next time. Bye bye.